What's going on? It's me, Jacob. I'm here to do another 60 second review. And that's right, I'm gonna be doing Hitman 2. Now, Hitman, that's a franchise I've been with for a while. I've been playing all of the Hitman games. I've been playing Hitman since it was on Edios. Played Hitman, Silent Assassin, Blood Money, Hitman Absolution. You know, I played season one when it came out episodically. I enjoyed season one. I didn't really enjoy the fact it was one level at a time because I like to kind of play through all the levels. But I get it, you know, they, they did take their time when it came out. It was a lot bigger than any Hitman game. Now, I'm gonna go over Hitman 2. It just came out on PlayStation Now, so a lot more people are having access to the game. I've been playing all the Hitman games since they came out, and I really do enjoy this one, Hitman 2. It's a great game to play. I'm so glad they gave it to us on PlayStation Now, because I have PlayStation Now. That means I can just play it anywhere I want on my laptop. You know, I do have the game on my PlayStation 4, but now I can just play anywhere on my laptop. It's great. But I'm going to give it the 60 second review. That's where I go over the pros, the cons, let you know exactly what to expect out of this game. Then like always, I'll finalize that with a score, 1 through 10. 10 being amazing, you have to play this game. I'll leave it linked down on the bottom, or 1 being trash. Don't even waste your time. Like always, if you do enjoy this content, you like hearing the 60 second reviews, you want to stay up to date with Marvel's Avengers or Cyberpunk 2077, those are going to be my two big games I'm going to be doing coming up. Definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a like or a comment in the video, and I really do appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much. Alright, now on to the review. I'm going to start with the pros. Now the game is very sandboxy. You can go at it however you want to go at it. You can go in there, guns blazing, kill everybody, even your target, or just try to only kill your target, suits only, silent assassin, and the game is going to score you accordingly. It's going to let you know exactly what you did wrong, what you can do next. It tells you everything you can do. There's lots of different ways to do it. There's lots of different sideways they put into the game where you can complete them and get different objectives complete and they make it super replayable so you want to go back and replay it you kind of have to go back and replay it if you want different items the game's a lot of fun it feels really real when you're walking through these cities it's very immersive they're big they're nice they're huge maps you can get lost in them for real there's an online you can go head to head against a friend or you can make contracts for other people to compete you know I mean complete or you can try to complete other people's contracts. It's a lot of fun to do that. That's the game in about 60 seconds. It was amazing to play through this. You know, I'm so glad they put that on PlayStation Now. I do want to finalize that with a score, one through 10. 10 being amazing, and one being trash. Don't even waste your time. You know, to be honest, I want to give the game a nine out of 10. The only real con with it, there's no story. The game doesn't have any story, but again, it doesn't need any story. It just puts you into a Hitman world gives you a couple targets to kill, an infinite amount of ways to do it, and you get scored accordingly. That's exactly what I want out of the game. The game is perfect. I've been playing these games since the very beginning, and it's only getting better. Hitman 3 is on the rise. I can't wait for it. I'm going to be streaming that when that comes out. But the next big games coming out are going to be Marvel's Avengers and Cyberpunk 2077. I cannot wait for those games. I know you guys can't wait for those games. I'm very excited. I just got done playing through some Hitman again. I'm loving Hitman. This game is a lot of fun. It really is. It's super sandboxy. That's the best part of it. You can just go at the mission however you want to go at the mission. I like dressing up in different outfits, going in there, maybe try to be a waiter, poison a guy, or try to be some kind of like technician and sabotage the equipment. In some situation, you can electrocute them or blow somebody up. Now, blowing people up is a lot of fun. If you blow something up and cause some kind of chaos, it sends all the NPCs into some kind of like chaos and they all start going away. And you know, everyone has like different routines and patterns they follow, but when they, any kind of chaos ensues, you know, everyone starts running everywhere. It's a lot of fun. You know, it changes things up a lot. And if they didn't know you did it, some kind of chaos where you can maybe you get away with a pale duck or something, and they don't know you did it, it's a lot of fun. You know, you can just kind of be someone in the crowd running with everybody and your target, you know, all of a sudden left the security guard and the security detail to go somewhere else because of some kind of like, you know, riot breaking out and then you can be there, you know, waiting. You know, there's a lot of fun things you can do in the game, you know. So if you haven't played it, definitely play it. It's worth a playthrough. And if you are playing the game, you know, let me know down below. What do you like most about the game? 
you know, w what makes you keep playing it? The game has been out for a while. Obviously, people are still playing it. I keep seeing missions posted online. I was just playing through a bunch of them. It's a lot of fun. What is it? What about this game? Is it the sandbox style? Because that's what brings me back to the game. That I can just come back and it's always going to be fresh, you know? Sometimes I forget how to, how to use my character. I forget the button layout. But the game's always going to be fresh. It's a Hitman game. And, you know, what more can you expect? It's a Hitman game. All right, that's going to be my review for Hitman 2. I really hope you enjoyed it. I gave the game a 9 out of 10. I wanted to give it a 10 out of 10. I really did. The reason why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10, there was no story element. But Hitman doesn't really need a story element. But it didn't really break any new ground with Hitman. It was the same thing you got with Season 1, which was amazing. It was really good. You know, I don't want to take anything from that. That's why it's still a 9 out of 10. And it's the same kind of Hitman game you were given in the very beginning, like Hitman 1, or like Silent Assassin and, and Contracts and all that, where you're given a target, you're in a map, you have like almost an infinite amount of ways to complete, you know, assassinating that target, and then you have to get out. Either, you know, get out without being seen, which is how I play the game, or if you are seen, you know, just don't die. <laughs> just get to the exit. They're shooting at you. Just get to the exit and don't die. And there you go. You'll complete the mission. You know, it's not the best way to do it. Definitely go back and replay it. But that's, you know, it's a possibility. When I first started playing Hitman, that's, that's exactly how I would play the game. I'll post up somewhere, like, very small, hide behind a corner, and just take out guards as I keep piling up until there's no one left in the map. Take out my target and then leave. But now I go in there, suits only, in and out, just take out my target, leave, no one sees anything. Silent Assassin. That's how you need to play the game. If you don't play it that way, you know, it's replayable. Step your game up. But who's excited for Hitman 3? I'm excited for Hitman 3. It's going to be in VR. You know, that's what I hear. It's going to be in VR. You get to be Agent 47. You're, like, in, in the VR. I don't know if you played VR games. You know, jump on it. Try it out. You know, demo it, you know, go to Best Buy or something, figure it out. I don't know, not with, not with what's going on, uh, but I don't know, it's fun. But anyways, you know, I have VR for PlayStation. It's not the best. I get a little motion sickness, I get it, but Hitman in VR, I'm going to do a video about that. Hitman 3 in VR, what's that going to be like, what to expect, you know, so stay tuned for that. You know, otherwise I do appreciate you guys sticking to the end of the video. Let me know what you thought about the game. Leave your comments down below, a thumbs up, you know, that'd be you know, super nice. And a subscribe will be super appreciated. I really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you at the next video.